Hi, I'm Jim Klein, Peter, LSU beat writer for NOLA.com, the Times Picayune. I'm with columnist Ron Higgins, and we just saw another one of those kind of games, uh, 56 to nothing LSU over Sam Houston State. LSU did what it was supposed to do, and pretty much with a pretty big exclamation point, first shutout since 2010 when they beat ULM 51 to nothing. Uh, it's amazing that they haven't had one since then, but uh, everything was clicking tonight. The quarterback uh, uh, position went well, but LSU did what it had to do, like a lot of Southeastern Conference teams, um, moved on, passed a cupcake, and uh, uh, tried to get better. You know, when you play a team like this, when you're overmatched, you really need to come out with focus, and you really need to put the hammer down immediately. That way, you can play a lot of people, and it shows you have focus. You can't screw around with teams like this. You've got to come out and, and play, and this was the truth all throughout the SEC today. It was unbelievable. It, it, 12 winners, uh, five, by, five teams scored 50 or more points, two of them scored 73 each. The average victory margin was 38.5. The average win, uh, each team that won averaged 49.2 yards a game, points a game and 540 yards a game. So LSU was right on. They had 56 points, 584 total offense. They came out. They did what they had to do. Played plenty of people. A few people got hurt. Everybody went home happy. I guess so. Not a, it, uh, it was uh, uh, the night when they were opening the stadium, the newly expanded Tiger Stadium. Of course, it didn't get very full. Uh, you, I don't think anybody really expected it to. But you're, you're right. Everybody went home happy. They got to see Leonard Fournette score a touchdown. Uh, they probably feel a lot better about the quarterback position. Anthony Jennings, I, I think fans were really worried about him and that if LSU had to resort to – uh, playing a, a, a true freshman uh, a, a whole lot this year that they were really going to be in trouble. But Jennings uh, looks like he gets this offense now. Uh, it's, a, it's a throw deep and, or run the ball offense. You, you pay uh, through the deep ball, and they, and they threw one on the first play, a 94-yard connection between Jennings and Doral. They hooked up three times for touchdowns. That 94-yard longest pass completion in LSU history, uh, you, you couldn't have asked for much more on that one. Absolutely. I mean, it seems to be, you know, the Anthony Jennings seems to like you know, being inside a 10-yard line, he had to go 97 yards. He did <laughs> against Arkansas, but this time it took one play. And, and uh, you know, he's really found a guy he can depend on in Doral. I mean, Doral's become unbelievable. He has 13 career catches and six are for touchdowns. So this is a guy that you feel like every time you throw to him, something good's going to happen. And it was a beautiful play. I mean, the protection was beautiful. The ball was on the money. Doral didn't have to break stride. And it's one of those things, it's like you make a statement right away. We're coming to play, and I thought that was, a, that was great to watch. I mean, I think it really, I mean, I think it fired up the sideline. It fired up the stadium. Like, I mean, hey, they're coming out and playing this game. Yeah, and fans got to be happy about a, a, a team that throws the deep ball. I mean, that's that's what they all want. On the other on the other side, uh, Leonard Fournette uh, made a made an explosive play. Finally, he busted loose for forty yards to set up his four yard touchdown run. But then he added a little something uh, extra on to it that uh, it didn't make Coach Les Miles happy. He didn't get a flag f for doing his Heisman pose, but uh, that's the kind of thing that can uh, throw your team off in a game like this. And and and, and that's the lack of focus you're talking. About. Yeah, I mean, you, 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 you want to ride off to youthful exuberance. You hope you can ride off to that. But, you know, it, I was stunned because everything you hear about Leonard Fournette being a great team guy and it's all about team, that, that was not a team play. That was, hey, look at me. I'm great play. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things, I can't believe he didn't get a penalty, but the referees, the referees didn't see him. And his, his, his teammates couldn't get to him quick enough before he did it. Uh, so, you take from this, you move on. I'm not going to fry him over. I don't think. I think you can fry him temporarily, then you move on. And uh, and you know, he did play well. He had that 40 yard run to set up that touchdown, and he caught some nice passes. And uh, they're bringing him along nicely. But everybody else ran pretty well. I like the the Kenny Hilliard and Fournette in the same backfield. I mm -hmm. like that. It was a nice wrinkle. Uh, two really good running backs in the same backfield. Okay, well, there you have it, LSU and, and ULM next week right here in Tiger Stadium. And for all the best coverage of that, stay with us on NOLA.com. For Ron Higgins, I'm Jim Kleinpeter, and we'll see you there on NOLA.com.